Hey guys, welcome to day 17 of the devotionals. I want to encourage you to keep going. We're halfway through, so please don't give up now, but stick with it. Yesterday was a great devotional from Martin Coleman, who's a friend of mine and a great pastor from Chepstow. And he just brought some wisdom and insight to us. If you haven't listened to it, go and listen to it. It will bless your heart. This morning, I want to speak to you from chapter 17 and verses 27 and 28. And it says this, can you bridle your tongue when your heart is under pressure? We all know what that feels like when circumstances are against us. It says, that's how you show you're a wise. An understanding heart keeps you cool, calm and collected, no matter what you're facing. When when even a fool bites his tongue, he is considered wise. So shut your mouth when you're provoked. It will make you look smart. I've always said there are times to speak up and there are times to shut up. And wisdom discerns the difference between the both and when, when we need to apply that. And I want to talk to you about being cool, calm and collected because we all struggle with tempers. We all struggle with emotions, especially in situations where it puts us under pressure, where we are provoked, where there's confrontation. We all find it easy to react. And so I want to try and help us the, this morning in a short devotional in a few minutes just to how do we deal with that? How do we deal with confrontation? How do we deal with difficult people, difficult situations? And not always reacting so our emotions get the better of us so we we kind of we we have to we are we have regrets and we have to go back and apologize and try and undo all the hurt and the the pain that it causes how do, how do we deal with things better because whether you're part of a family or a friendship or any kind of relationship there are going to be moments where things get tense there are going to be moments of friction where you rub each other up the wrong way but the key is that we don't have to continue in a pattern of falling out, arguing, hurting each other. We can we can deal with things better. And verse 27 talks about the second half of verse 27. It says, an understanding heart keeps you cool, calm and collected. That's what, that's what we want to be, is cool, calm and collected in all situations. It says, no matter what you're facing. And so an understanding heart is is the person who says, you know what? I'm not going to jump to a conclusion. I'm not going to react. I'm not going to be judgmental or assume the worst. I'm actually going to step back, take a breather, think about this and ask the question, why is this person acting like this? Why why is this situation happening? What is going on with this person? Is this out of character for them? Sometimes it's good to ask that question. Is this something going on that perhaps I don't realise? Because we all know that we are fighting a battle at one time or another, that there are things going on in our lives that people don't know about that can cause our behaviour to act out of character for us. And so sometimes we have to address situations and address people's attitudes or responses, but we do the right thing in the right way. Addressing a bad attitude with a bad attitude is no good. Fighting fire with fire is no good. And so we have to learn to deal with it better I remember Danny Gukamuchi saying years ago when he was, he's the pastor of Ed, he used to be the pastor of Edge Church in Australia, that when he was younger in the church he was in, the pastor had to phone the police to come and separate his deacons because they were fighting. It's crazy, crazy. But these things go on and uh, our tempers get the better of us. But if we have an understanding heart that says, you know what, I'm going to take a step back from this. I'm not going to react, but I'm going to respond. And I'm going to control my emotions, no matter how I feel right now. I'm going to just allow reason to override my emotions for common sense to come to the forefront. Uh, I remember many years ago someone telling me about another person in the church who's no longer in the church anymore. But uh, this person was saying some unkind things about me that were quite hurtful and also untrue. Um, and I could have reacted, I could have exploded, I could have got angry, I could have gone and seen the person. But you know what, I, I just kind of stopped, stepped back and thought, you know, I knew a little bit about what this person was going through at that time and they were under pressure. And what I realised was that they were projecting their problems onto me. They were blaming me for the cause of their problems when it was nothing to do with me. But they needed someone to blame. And so I just took a step back, I didn't react to it in the slightest. And nothing came of it. And sometimes you just have to do that. It's not easy, but it's not impossible either. Just being understanding 
of people not being defensive or touchy or easily provoked, not being a snowflake where you're always offended, but you're saying, you know what, I'm just going to be the better person. I'm going to apply a little bit of self-control and I'm just going to do the right thing because I haven't always got to defend myself. I haven't always got to speak up. Sometimes the smart thing to do is to say nothing. So I want to encourage you to control your tongue and to keep you cool. And to do that, you have to have an understanding heart so that when it's under pressure, it controls itself and doesn't react. Have a great day, guys. God bless you. See you soon.